I always say, this is just my personal opinion, but it's an opinion I've learned from being around, you know, several, you know, great coaches, especially defensive coaches. I should be able to um, bring uh, someone who's not a, a football, you know, uh, aficionado, and they should be able to go out and, and watch us play, and they should be able to say that we look like we're, we're uh, a well-oiled machine. 11 guys that play as hard and play as aggressive as, as they possibly can. I mean, we're in attack mode, you know what I mean? Uh, ever since the first day he came here, we're in attack mode. He wants to get off the ball. He wants to get off blocks. So we're blessing a lot more. With the defense, you're only as good as your defensive line. So we're out here working hard every day because uh, we know that it's on us to be a great defense. You know, you can't always promise wins and losses. But one thing you can always promise is the effort and, you know, the will to try to get done with what the defense is asking them to do. The demands, not what, what I demand, it's what the game demands. To play D-line really well, you have to play really, really hard. Um, and so you have to strain. You have to compete and fight, and that little extra strain over the course of several reps eventually can overwhelm people. Hit, hit. Um, the, the biggest thing you want to make sure is that the guys bring energy. That's the most important thing. You want to make sure that they're comfortable with what you're, what you're doing and what we're doing as a defensive staff, scheme-wise. And I think once they have that comfort level, now is to go out there and go play. And that's what, you know, if you have the energy and you have the knowledge and you feel confident in what you're doing, you're going to go out there and go play your best. The other thing about those two guys, Hector and Sanat, is they're such good people and they're so responsible, they take care of everything off the field. And just like anything else, as long as they know that you care for them and they have, you have their best interest at heart, I think you're gonna get the most out of them. And that's what Coach Strong's about. It's Coach Strong's about developing young men to be the best men they can be. And then the same values that make you a good man make you a good football player work ethic, character, uh, doing little things right, paying attention to details, all those things that are gonna make you successful. And as a family man, as, a, as an employee, are the same things that make you a successful football player. And that's how Coach Strong develops those guys.